Hi, here we are again. It's uh, winter at the moment, but it won't be very much longer. Um, so we're going to go and have a look at the boat, see where we are since we've done the last episode where I was preserving the hull and getting it all sort of safe and ready and sort of sorted for the winter. This episode, we're going to look at some of the things we've discovered since and make some decisions on uh, going forward. Let's go and have a look at the boat. Let's see ultimately how many different tools we can use to get this off, shall we? Wow, it's the uh, crunch pine. Well, probably not crunch, but you know what I mean. Good. <laughs> right. I fear it was epoxied actually to the top board. Let's take it off and have a look. And so yes, of course, another area of concern is the deck. I haven't really investigated it massively, but above where the shrouds were, where the damage is on the, on the hull that we were just looking at on the shear plank, is these are above that, that's on the starboard side and on the port side here, we've got, you know, a decent, decent hole. And uh, I don't know that there's much more than that, but just again, it's the same part of the boat that's been got to. It's just must be fresh water running down the shrouds and rotted it. So, again, without investigating the deck to a great extent, there it is. A hole's a hole. There are also these blistered parts, these bubble bits. I've picked a couple of them out to see and it's, it's fairly solid underneath, but they are blistered. I don't know what is, if it, is that some sort of fiberglassy epoxy stuff on there? I don't know what they sheath these decks with, but yeah, I'm not sure what that is. But they don't seem um, rotten underneath, but again, I haven't, I haven't really picked them all out. I've just had a bit of a preliminary look. So another big part of my thought process or my perhaps not somewhat concern about um, how to go forward with the boat is the keel and the keel bolts. There's a chap from uh, Reviving Idler, I think his name's Nick, he's up in Fife, up in Scotland. Um, fantastic a guy, great channel, I will link his um, well, I'll link this particular episode into the description. Um, but he done an episode talking about keel bolts and it was a really interesting episode where he drew them out and they were great on the top and then on the bottom, but it was the central bit, it was just like a rotten tooth, it was just so thin. But that somewhat put a cat amongst the pigeons with me and made me have to consider I've got to draw the kill box. So I was thinking, and um, I did mention it to him in the comment and he replied really kindly. I assume, you know, you look at it, give it a little bit of torque, if it doesn't snap it's fine. 
but I don't think that's the case. I think there is uh, something to have to look into. So if I've got to draw the keel box out, that's another um, reasonably major thing. The boat has to be lifted or, um, because on the, on the trailer here, on the frame, it's uh, sat on the keel bolts. So uh, there's something else to be done in that sense. So, but yeah, so there we are, there's the keel, or the ballast, keel ballast, whatever we want, to, whatever it's actually called. But, um, so yeah, there's another issue with that, something I have to really consider. I don't know, is this called a boom bang? I don't know, either way it's broken. It's another thing, um, again not too serious but it's something that needs uh, repairing. As well as the uh, hatches above here look. Um, they're not too bad, it's something to be done in the workshop. I'm not overly concerned. I wonder what that thing is called. Goes here. Yeah, it went here. So we're here now at a different yard, and I'll go into that um, just in a minute. But um, talking about the boat, and I know it seems like a bit of a like a bummer episode, you know, I'm talking about all the problems, all the issues, it's all doom and gloom. And I really don't mean it to be that way, it just happens to be that episode, it has to be done at some point, that, you know, what are the problems episode. But also this really is about the solutions, this episode as well. Now, I've got a couple of options, obviously, with Susanna. I can just do it to the minimum sort of standard that I can get away with. Get her in the water, learn to sail her, and of course that was the, the reason for getting a boat in the first place was that I wanted to learn to sail. So there is that option. Now of course this is a uh, wooden sailboat restoration channel and I'm not going to do that am I? What I want to do is just get her perfect, get her absolutely beautiful like a real classic beautiful sailboat. You know and I've got to be honest the, the pleasure of that is I mean it can seem like a task people may well say you know it's a folly why are you doing it you're wasting your time and to an extent there's there's some truth in that i don't think there's any great value in the boat i don't know probably not but it isn't about that i mean it's doing something it's just you've got to get out of bed for something so that's the plan with susanna now i can't sail i've never been on a sailboat so what would have happened is i would have restored her um, put her in the water and had to have someone else sail her. It would be like restoring a car and having someone else drive it just while I sat in the passenger seat. So, if I learn to sail beforehand, by the time I do get Suzanne in the water, all looking beautiful, I can just, it could just be me and Suzanne, I could just sail her on my own, which would be absolutely fantastic to do. So on that, one of the reasons I'm in this yard here is because of this little beauty here. This is Tavita and she's been passed on to myself and my brother-in-law. Now, initially there, she probably looks pretty rough and you're like, here, you know, the eyes rolling and you've gone from, you know, out of the frying pan into the fire, but she's absolutely solid, you know. She's not owned up at all, there's no rot on her whatsoever. She has new sails, um, the standing rigging's been done recently, the wiring's fantastic. There are two problems with her, of course, there's no such thing as a free boat, is there? Um, the rudder, she needs a rudder built, and the engine, which is a reasonably newish engine, uh, has been submerged, so I don't know the condition of that engine. But um, apart from that, she needs a good good paint to tidy up, and um, you know, she's pretty much good to go. The boat itself, well, I'm here in the UK, the boat itself has sailed to Canada, so it's a sturdy, you know, seaworthy boat, and as I said, she's in great condition, so that's reason one why I'm in this yard right now. The second reason for me being in this yard today is that it's a two minute walk from my house. So there's another reason, let's call it reason three, is that this is a sailing club, it's a members club. Um, so there's a lot of friendly, you know, helpful, interested people here. So it's a great place to be around. And as if we need another reason, there's fire. So that's the plan. Bring Susanna here where I can restore her to a high standard, learn to sail, have a few beers along the way.
next week I'll be on the tools I think so till then cheers